Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody and today I'm checking out Martha's Vineyard KMVY it's the latest add-on scenery by the team over there at Burning Blue Designs and uh, stay tuned to find out how you can win a copy of this uh, add-on scenery but before we do that let's go and compare the default scenery to the add-on scenery for this particular airport. Just a quick little note there on the default scenery taxiways. I do have a real taxiways USA installed, so the actual default uh, runway markings and signage are slightly different for the default, so just uh, be aware of that. But uh, here we are at Martha's Vineyard, and uh, it's a little bit of a departure for the team at Burning Blue here who have been doing a lot of UK based airports, but now they've jumped across the pond and they're. Uh, decided to put together this quaint little airport of Martha's Vineyard. Now, Martha's Vineyard, it's been a favourite of US presidents, so it wouldn't be unusual to see uh, Air Force One uh, land at this particular runway on several occasions, so uh, that's kind of cool. But uh, let's just start over in the middle of the field here. One thing you will notice is improved textures compared to the default so all these grass textures here are of a higher quality uh, one thing the guys do at burning blue do do is uh, they put their own wind socks in there so we've got custom wind socks over here in the middle of uh, looks like a vor beacon of some description or certainly a some sort of uh, navigation beacon but as we move over let's start over here on the left hand side of the uh, airport now this was originally a training base in the 40s for US carrier pilots. So they used to come here, do their training before they took off uh, to uh, World War II. Uh, now we've got the compass there. North is that way. There you go. Nice and easy for those that don't know which way that is. But we've got a couple of uh, add-on aircraft, I should say standard aircraft, sitting right here. You've got your Gulfstream right there. You've got your Bombardier Challenger 350. So a nice little touch there. They've also gone ahead and added thousands of different static objects uh, and uh, improved uh, the look, as you can see in that comparison we did earlier, uh, improved the look quite significantly of the airport to match the actual real world uh, airport that you would see if you went there. So you can see a bunch of different trucks, etc., and just little static objects over here just to bring the airport to life and make it a little, a little bit more realistic. As we head over to the airport proper here and we can see the apron, now these are updated with all the proper markings etc. If you don't have real Taxiways USA, those will be updated as part of the package. Uh, and as we pan around here down into the terminal, it's uh, quite a nice looking terminal here with your stone bricks etc. Uh, very cool. Someone needs to clean up some of this rubbish here though, a little bit messy. Uh, let's pan up and go into the, uh, into the control tower right here. And we've got a nicely laid out control tower there. I did notice that someone is on Discord, so they're obviously, maybe they're playing games uh, in between controlling aircraft. Uh, primarily GA and a few charter sort of uh, operations out of this airport now. Uh, obviously no longer a training base for uh, the US uh, carrier pilots. So we pan over the top here. You can see they've done a nice job here in the car park. It's a very sort of rural feeling, that's for sure. I think that's probably what they've been going for. And uh, it definitely looks pretty sweet. Uh, once again, a ton of different objects here just to bring uh, the airport to life and give it a bit more uh, realism. You've got all these little GA airplane hangers with a few sticking out. I see down over here we've got a Cessna 152 just poking above uh, the or below the, uh, the hangar door there. And so just sitting around waiting to get out there. It looks like there's quite a few owners of aircraft that do use these facilities. And we've got the burning blue... Uh, livery right there for the Cessna 172. Maybe that's a 172 over there. Looks like a 152 to me. Uh, now, if you want to see this airport in the winter, then check out my latest live stream. This has been uh, recorded in the second week of January. So we did the live stream just a couple of days ago and we started off in the snow. It certainly looks a bit different, that's for sure, in the snow. Now, talking about getting your hands on your own copy of this particular scenery, now what you want to do is jump onto my live streams. In the weekends, I generally have at least one live stream. We've got a landing rate competition happening in January. Get in amongst it. 
guess what you think my landing rate could be and it can be variable I can tell you that and uh, you can go ahead and win your copy uh, win a copy of this excellent little uh, add-on here but let's go and take a look at some of the little features over here we've got this tractor now perhaps this is from our Kiwi farm uh, farm that we've got going on at the moment and this guy is like what the heck is this sitting here look at that how dirty are those tractor tires it's not looking in good nick someone probably needs to give that uh, that shed a bit of a, a water blast too and a bit of a paint job might work well but I think they've captured uh, the essence of like a, a semi-rural airport here uh, one of the other things that you will see actually let's just pop down into this hangar here got a few pallets there a few drums nice little features here we've got like that loading trolley it looks like we've got something else I was going to say there was a toolbox but it's not it looks like it's just some sort of transportation box right there we've got a crane lift a bunch of different little features here look good but uh, one thing they have added in here is the striker firefighting appliance which it looks pretty cool this guy's either guarding it or about to drive out on that uh, and that's obviously got the proper markings there the Martha's Vineyard Airport markings on the side looking cool those things are beastly looking things good visibility by the way you're probably going to need it if I'm flying in here now let's just go into the hangar here this guy's hanging around hoping not to get caught look practicing his dancing doing a TikTok or something uh, but that's uh, just a couple of little items sitting in there too now the other thing that they've gone ahead and done is added the actual transportation bus that you get look at this it's a, it almost looks like a golf clubhouse doesn't it there's the Martha's Vineyard Airport. I like all the little static air, uh, people just walking around. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like a golf clubhouse. <laughs> if anyone's been here, let me know. What do you think? Have they done a great job here? This guy's in a suit. I mean, it is technically winter over here. I think I've said it to some of them. Uh, but over here, we've got our Martha's Vineyard Transit Authority. There goes the bus that uh, obviously transports people uh, into the local area. So they've added in there. So... Looking to add that touch of realism in there. Like I said, over a thousand items that they've put into the airport. But it's cool. We flew out of here the other day. It was a lot of fun, actually. It was covered in snow, admittedly. Uh, sort of on the northeast uh, coast of the US. So uh, definitely probably gets a bit of uh, poor weather here, particularly in the winter, I would imagine. But um, they've done a really, really nice job, the guys at Burning Blue. So what I'll do is I'll put a link down in the description. You can check it out. Uh, let's uh, before we wrap it up let's take a look at what the airport looks like at night and there we go ladies and gentlemen really nice and one thing I comment about the burning blue designs uh, scenery the add-on airport scenery particularly is just the difference in lighting that they use and I will mention it again you get the soft lighting out on the uh, extremities here in the car parks etc just that dull sort of lighting but then you get that bright LED lighting in the key areas of the actual airport itself so you can kind of see the aprons have lit up quite brightly with that bright, bright light. Now I really love the uh, red lights on the top of these poles here. I think they're some sort of communication towers. They look really, really cool. Really nice job there. And as we pan up here, you've got the runway lighting on uh, the airport right there on the runways, I should say. And the taxiway edges have been uh, lit up quite nicely. So looking great. You kind of see the city in the background there, and that's always a, a cool looking thing. Airports are generally a little bit isolated, generally, uh, and you get that big gap of darkness before you hit some of the major city lights there, so that's looking cool. But once again, they've done a really good job with the contrast and the lighting. You've got the LED lighting over here uh, in the uh, key parts of the airport, and then you've got that softer glow, sort of yellow lighting over in the uh, parking areas it almost looks like a neighborhood to be honest <laughs> looks kind of cool so really nice job there and you can see the other apron over there in the distance holding those uh, charter jets so there you go everybody martha's vineyard kmv wide by the team at burning blue design a big shout out to them for hooking me up with a copy of this to be able to show you uh, what it's all about also as i said earlier jump onto the live stream, come and try to win your own copy of Martha's Vineyard. We gave one away last week. Obviously, if you're watching this well in the future, it's probably all gone by now. Uh, but still, uh, feel free to check out the link down below. And uh, if you're interested in the airport, go and support these developers and really appreciate them supporting the channel. But uh, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you go ahead, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.